name is Sunny um, and I went to high school and college in Chicago and my current role is a data analyst at a fintech company that works with transactional data to kind of discover consumer insights. So my educational background prior to joining the bootcamp, I don't have a master's or a PhD degree, but I went to uh, Northwestern University for my bachelor's and I studied economics and statistics. So um, my decision to kind of dive into the data science area is um, I kind of spent five years in finance and I was a trader at an asset manager, so on the buy side, and I realized that Excel wasn't necessarily powerful enough to kind of do everything that I kind of wanted to learn about in making investment decisions or anything such as. So I wanted to really learn Python and R and just like basic data analyst skills and also kind of like modeling and predictive modeling and things like that. What actually led me to um, kind of apply only to the uh, New York City uh, Data Science Academy is I saw the testimonies of previous alumni and kind of like where they ended up. And I reached out to a couple of them and everyone was very nice in explaining why they went there um, how they did, uh, what it was like after and during the boot camp, and that was really helpful for me. My biggest concern coming into the boot camp was that I had no coding experience. I took one class in college um, on C and C++, don't really remember anything. Um, I kind of brushed up on my statistics, but not so much either. But when I first joined the boot camp, it was really helpful that the instructors kind of set the um, expectations on like what you should know and what you don't necessarily have to know and you don't need to know coding to go into the boot camp and I actually found that out in the first few weeks of boot camp that you don't really need to go uh, uh, but you don't need to know uh, programming at all and they really go from the very start um, up to the level that you need to get to in order to be industry ready to interview. Um, I think I was in a class of around 50 people and there was another class of 50 people and we got really close. Um, I sat next to people who became eventually my friends um, all day and you, you guys are going through the same thing so um, it, it really doesn't make you feel like you're alone in this kind of uh, travel that you're doing into the data science career um, and you get to also make friends with the other classroom too so it's like a hundred people of people who are in the same spot and um, you are working on a project with them so that was really great for me and I still keep in touch with a couple of them. My core was a little unique in that um, co corona uh, uh, virus kind of hit during our boot camp cohort so initially I was a, a little kind of um, concerned because I don't necessarily learn uh, better online. I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to focus on a computer screen from 9 to 1 p.m. But it was very interactive. Um, I was able to chat all my questions or just unmute myself and ask the questions to the instructor. So nothing really uh, kind of took away from the experience and my ability to just raise my hand and get all the answers that I needed. Even if I had questions after the lecture, uh, the instructors and TAs were readily available so that I could just ping them, hop on a Zoom call. Um, so I wouldn't say the quality of the change. Yeah, so I think one of my favorite projects, uh, I, I, I feel like a lot of people may say the capstone and that was also my favorite project, but I really like the predictive um, housing prices um, just because all the groups were working on the same problem, which was predicting housing prices in Ames, Iowa with the Kaggle data set. And everyone kind of solved the problem in different ways. And it was really interesting to see all the groups present and see how the same problem can be tackled. After the uh, boot camp ends, uh, I feel like NYC Data Science Academy does a really good job in providing you with additional kind of supplements and workshops. So for the following three to four weeks after the boot camp ends, we had SQL classes, we had um, additional interview prep uh, materials or just um, check-ins, um, and Vivian was readily available to just talk about uh, you know, strategies on how to find a job, um, and also very readily available to introduce me to any companies that I didn't necessarily have a connection to, uh, where she did because she had a very extensive network into the data community. I also used, uh, personally used the alumni network right after I graduated in kind of getting my resume kind of fielded out again to get a lot more eyes on my resume and I think that was a very good initial point in starting my job search because there was a lot of very good feedback and then my resume started getting noticed even if I did cold 
drops. Um, but then another aspect was just talking to them about how they went on their job search because um, they did that a couple months before me. So that was very helpful in kind of uh, organizing how I was going to approach finding a job. I had earlier early mentioned that I didn't know how to program and uh, I feel like I knew how to analyze things but I didn't really understand it in the world of like how data analysts analyze uh, data sets. So I think those are the two biggest buckets that I took away and I think more concretely I don't think I would have been able to pass a lot of the interview um, interview steps um, like the technical steps if I didn't go through the boot camp that's for sure. The hard work doesn't necessarily go away. Um, even though there's a lot of successful alumni who go through the boot camp and who find jobs, um, it's really the work that you put in that you get out of. So like you have to put in the work in studying a lot of the models and a lot of like the programming aspects, especially if you don't have a programming background. And even if you do, um, I think um, the speed of the boot camp it, it's only 12 weeks, so it is uh, quick. So you have to keep up. Um, and even after the boot camp, the networking and the um, hustling to find a job, get your foot in the door, that also doesn't go away either.